Hi, I'm at the 2012 Electronics Show here in Sydney at Australian Technology Park. Why am I wearing this dorky yellow vest? Well, it's oh and &S. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of setting up one of these trade shows. Let's go. Should be fun. And in we go. It's held at Australian Technology Park here in uh, Redfern and this is an old um, locomotive workshop. And the Surface Mount Circuit Board Association is uh, having their conference here as well and they've got some great um, lectures and stuff on and there's still places available if you want to uh, get on down here in the next couple of days if you mention the EEV blog they'll actually give you a discount fantastic so uh, let's Good, eh? oh <laughs> someone knew me I have no idea who that was but uh, yeah this is a great venue and um, you might remember the uh, video from a couple of years ago was held in the much smaller hall down in there but now the conference has gotten so big they've got the much bigger one in here which we're going to go in and check out and you can see that this was the old automotive uh, it, yeah, they actually manufactured locomotives in here and we'll be able to see some uh, old history stuff in here so in we go I've got to wear my yellow safety vest OHS and all that jazz and uh, here we go we can see some of the I have no idea what that is it's got an info sign over there we can check it out very quickly this looks like a, it's a tangy wheel lathe there you go this massive wheel lathe was installed here around the 1950s it was used to machine two wheels mounted on an axle at the same time could handle wheels up to 48 inches 1.2 meters in diameter it's probably mainly used for reconditioning worn wheels rather than making new ones there you go and there's the axle that's the that's actually a train axle with the wheels and they would rework them fantastic anyway let's go in and check out setting up the venue and anyone who says they enjoy setting these things up is just crazy we've got Hawker Richardson Jim Challenger will be on the stand there somewhere Cobot systems they're all setting up Morn Sun Power there's Jim there's his and we've got some Mantis scopes everyone loves Mantis and there's Jim there's Jim Challenger from Hawker Richardson hey <laughs> say hi Jim hi, hi, what are you setting up oh this look at that one the Mantis compact stand Ooh. offers more stability allows you to use 20 times lens oh 20 times nice and what's this Ooh, oh look at that oh that's pornographic that is fantastic love it thanks Jim that's Hawker Richardson who supplied my uh, Mantis and all these display booths are all the same and uh, some of them are still empty some people haven't turned up yet it is now 2:15 uh, p.m. on the Tuesday it opens at uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow Roden Schwartz stand looks uh, pretty darn fancy there they're all setting up here we got we got tech rentals and everything comes in huge crates I actually uh, drove my car into here um, we'll go past my booth uh, sometime it's right on the other side woohoo RS components check them out there we go and they handle all those brands Woo, Upton these crates are massive absolutely massive and it's just not pandemonium yet but it could get that way by the end of the day or tomorrow morning it opens 10 a.m tomorrow morning but uh well he's got a <laughs> fantastic i have no idea what that is <laughs> no idea what he's doing with the mannequin electrolube we've got heco irons they're setting them up that's i think they've almost finished their stand they're way ahead of the pack that's for sure organizers office people picking up their badges there's Anthony, show organizer. Hey Anthony. I'm putting my feet up for a minute. <laughs> feet <killing> up. Me. <laughs> how, how, how's it all going? Is it chaos Very in well. my head? Chaos as usual. Organized chaos, we like to say Dave. Organized chaos. Excellent. <laughs> how, how many exhibitors have we got here? Uh, uh, all up probably 95. 95 to 100. Quite a lot of shared stands, yep. arrangements. And this is the biggest one yet? Absolutely. Yeah. It's nearly, nearly twice the size of the. Yep first Sydney show yeah which that. was the hall mm. on the other side so yeah. it's twice as yeah. big 
Fantastic. We've got some spare space on the other side, I noticed. Yeah, we haven't used all the hall. Right. It'd be nice so if we could. But, expand uh, expand <laughs> next year. It's going back to Melbourne next year? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. more than likely. Right. right. So we'd okay. probably look to bring it back here in a couple yep. of years' time. Fantastic. But get on down, get on into the show. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a bumper. For the next two days, Wednesday Absolutely. and Thursday. Mm. Fantastic. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, Thursday. See you, mate. All right. Here's the show organiser. <sighs> Sitting in his booth all alone. <laughs> GPC, you don't work for GPC. What are you? <laughs> oh boy, feed up. Altronics are here. Lintech, Agilent, Trio Smart Cow. Nope, there's probably, I don't know, there's probably like half a million bucks worth of uh, kit in those. Uh, but here he is, here's Simon, <laughs> Simon Roger, hey Simon, Hello, say hi Simon, Dave. and CK, Hello. who you remember from previous videos. Here comes the hard part, we've now got to unpack everything and put it up. Aha, uh -huh. what, what sort of stuff you got here? So mostly scopes, yep. um, our, our new high, high volume scopes, yep. um, so that, that's, that's a big thing. We have some of our handheld equipment, some function generators, um, ARBs, um, power supplies. So mostly stuff that R&D folks use, um, sort yep. of entry level to mid range equipment. Fantastic. How much is in those? Ba how much worth in those boxes? Do you think? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. It depends who's buying. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And you had to haul this stuff all the way from Melbourne. Uh, yeah, yep. absolutely. I put it on my hand luggage. Hand luggage, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, they, they complained when I checked in, but uh, yeah, I managed to sweet talk them, and we managed to get it in. <laughs> Does anyone enjoy setting up these trade shows? No, no, I don't think so. Well, yeah. setting up's more fun than manning it all day, isn't it? I, I, I think, but, but the, the first thing you see is as soon as everybody gets in, they walk around and they look at all the other stands and you develop stand envy. And uh, right, uh, yep. <laughs> you start thinking, next year I want that one. I want that space <laughs> and I'm going to be bigger than them. I want a custom year. stand. <laughs> 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 all right, well, have fun, Thank guys. You. See Thank ya. You. So that will be the Agilent stand, but it's empty at the moment. Come on, guys, it's two o'clock. Quarter past two. <laughs> and harvest. No idea. Scientific devices. They've. They, it looks like they're almost finished. Looks like they're almost done. Almost done, guys. Boonton RF power meter. Never heard of it. There you go. Boonton. I'll come by during the show, guys. What a good idea. Okay. Good stand. Well done. And you're almost finished setting up, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Do, do it early, go for a beer. All right. Hammond. Display boxes, they've just got empty box at the moment. Who is, who's this? I don't know, they're setting it up. Because you can, they've, um, you can get two different so types of stands. You can get a regular booth uh, like this, which is already set up for you, or you can get just a bare space and all you get is a chalk outline on the floor and then you've got to hire someone to uh, assemble and uh, test it yourself and I have uh, been to some uh, big trade shows and worked on these uh, booths that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to set them up and man them with all the people and everything so that's silicon chip publications Leo Simpson and the crowd aren't here yet they just got a couple of tables and uh, IMP, looks like they're setting up their video there. And check it out, my former employer, Altium. Look at their measly little stand. You'll find that my stand is much bigger. I love it. So let's go find my stand. RMS parts, they're on their way. Lots of display boxes on display. TechFlex, what's new in electronics? Electrolube, Element 14, Vicom. Boy, they got some nice stoves just sitting here. There's a LaCroix Wave Runner just sitting there. A Signal Hawk. And an Aeroflex Spectrum Analyzer. Beautiful. National Instruments. They're busy setting up SAT CAM, RTD circuit design. And ta da! The first ever EEV blog stand. Check it out. Yes, it is bigger than Altium. Awesome. And then we've got Mondo next door. 
And then we've got Richard from Circuit Labs. Everyone knows Circuit Labs who made my boards for me. Hey, Richard, say hey, hi. Hey, you. <laughs> that's, a, that's a New Zealand accent, folks. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Kiwi. How's it going? Good, good. Just setting up. Yep. Yeah, getting all the background in. And you've got right. racing cars. Yeah, we've got some slot cars being set up. Slot Ooh. cars? Yeah, so Fantastic. Have a race against us. <laughs> and, <laughs> See how you get on. And you're showing some video of my boards being made today. Oh, I've got something on there. Oh, there we go. This reminds me, I've got to set up my stand too. <laughs> hey, there we go. There's my... Oh, no, are they my... No, wait, wait, wait. No, they're not mine. Oh, a bit more. There's the U-currents. A bit more. There's the micro-currents. There we go. Coming out my the edge mine. Micro bar, and we've got a video, haven't we? We shot some footage of those being yep. manufactured, which yep. I haven't edited yet because I've been very slack. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thanks, you'll Richard. Get to it. Yeah, Tuesday. and it's Circuit Labs and PCBZone.net, PCB zone. and I've got some merch over here on my stand. Hang on, it's down here. Here we go. I got some freebies, which were manufactured by PCB Zone. Three different colours: red, green, and blue. They are PCB rulers there you go you can only get them if you come to the show metric and imperial of course with some handy charts on there i hope they're correct i put it together at the last minute and uh richard at uh, circuit labs pcb zone manufactured them for me so anyway here's my stand and uh it is an absolute mess i've got a back to the future poster there i've got a whiteboard i've got the maker bot and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff and Ta -da! Hang on. Here we go. Man in the stand is me. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to get myself a cardboard cutout Dave. There you go. So that's my stand. And it's bigger than Altium. Did I mention that? Machinery Forum. Emona. And there's John South. Everyone knows John South. Hey, John. Hi. How are you going? <laughs> busy setting up. Yeah, yep. Yeah, always busy setting up. Gonna have got a stand too. Dave, you're going I up got a world. stand. I'm yeah. going up in the world. Yeah. Going to have some Rigol gear here this uh, this year. Rigol. Yeah, yeah. We'll have plenty. Well, of we've, we've this... got the original. We've got Mr. Mr. Stone from uh, Rigel, uh, Rigel in Beijing. And yeah, there we go. Whole bunch of gear. And hey, jeez, they've got a huge stand. Man, how much did you pay for that? It's enormous. <laughs> Absolutely enormous. Worth, and we're back. We're back. Here we go. There's the engine again. Oh, the um, Mechtronics. Got some lots of cool. Check out the Mechtronics stand. Oki soldering irons. Hot Met Cow. And a woof. That is um, the BGA rework. Uh, yeah, it's some sort of uh, rework machine. Huge. And Entech make PCBs. They've already got their nice uh, stuff already. Their wares already set up. Oh, they've got a competing ruler. They've got a competing ruler to mine. Oh, mine's heat better. Mine's uh, 0.71 millimeters. It's flexible, and it's. Uh, Got some handy charts on, and we've got my data. Machines, absolutely huge. We'll check those out during the show, as we did last time. What's new in electronics? And Element 14, they're busy setting up. Looks like they've got uh, all their merch ready to go. And you can, if we head on out here, we can actually drive in. So I just drove in here, offloaded my stuff for the stand, and uh, this is great. I mean, it's um, it really you can see all the old crane systems up above, and it's a really great haul. It really is awesome. It uh, gives it a real industrial feel to it. They've got all the original. Uh, posts and look there's a huge boom arm which would have been used for uh, uh you know i don't know hauling out uh, uh locomotive engines or something like that who knows but it is a massive haul and it is a great feel down here in the show so there you go that's behind the scenes at setting up one of these 
trade show stands and uh, there's a couple of, oh, I think they've got them till 8 p.m. tonight, so I don't think there's any uh, panic at this stage, but geez, we've got some really big crates. Geez, what's in there? The Ark of the Covenant or something? I don't know. It's enormous. So anyway, I hope you uh, liked the behind the scenes footage. Oh no, I'm trapped. Can't get through there. Oh, RS are uh, really going to town. RS really going to town on this stand. Oh man, no expense spared. I'm not sure how much they spent on that, but uh, would have cost an absolute fortune. So there you go. That's behind the scenes setting up this stuff. I hope you liked it. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and the show is on tomorrow. I'm going to edit this and upload it tonight. Catch you next time.